New info tonight, state rep and future speaker of the Texas House, Dade Phelan, tweeted that he has checked something special off his bucket list, meeting former President George W. Bush. In a tweet, Phelan said the two spent time talking about the lessons the former president learned during his time serving both our state and then later our country. In case you missed it, Beaumont police hope an autopsy will tell them more about a person who was found dead today under the I-10 College Street overpass. Detectives have not said whether the death is criminal, accidental, or from natural causes. Police and paramedics responded to the scene around 4 this afternoon. A man is dead and a woman is in the hospital following a five-hour standoff at an RV park in Winnie. Chambers County Sheriff's investigators say 34-year-old Ray Austin Evans took his own life. Evans is on, called 911 this morning, saying he was threatening to kill his stepfather. Deputies arrived and Evans ran in that RV, locked himself inside with the woman. She eventually escaped before Evans shot himself. The hostage situation led to a lockdown at East Chamber schools. We're working to find out more about the federal investigation that led all these officers to a home in Beaumont this morning. Deputies, police dogs, even an armored vehicle responded near North 23rd and Bayou Road. This was south of Laurel, the scene around 8 a.m. According to the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, crews were executing a federal search warrant. Captain Crystal Holmes tells 12 News the people at the home were very cooperative. No details are being released. A bizarre story out of Galveston County. One person is dead tonight after hopping into a plane that went airborne as it was undergoing maintenance. According to the FAA, the plane later went down in a residential area.